In this question, you are being asked to find the amount that Valley should report in its statement of financial position as accounts payable at the 30th of June 20x6. The information provided relates to the payables ledger and adjustments to the payables ledger and the purchase ledger control account. And so we are looking at a purchase ledger control account reconciliation in order to find out our accounts payable balance. This will be recognizing that the balance per the purchase ledger control account will equal the balance on the purchase ledger when reconciled. The question tells us that the total of the list of balances in Valley's payables ledger was 438,900 at the 30th of June 20x6. This did not agree with Valley's payables ledger control account balance and the following errors were discovered. We have not been given our purchase ledger control account balance and so therefore we need to work with what's going on in the payables ledger in order to work out our balance. So our starting point will be the balance per the payables list which equals 438,900. We then need to work through the errors and find out whether they relate to our list or whether they relate to the purchase ledger control account. In our first adjustment, it tells us that a contra entry of $980 was recorded in the payables ledger control account, but not in the payables ledger. So this relates to an error in our payables ledger and therefore affects our list. A contra entry arises when we have a customer and a supplier that is the same entity. And we are therefore adjusting or offsetting the balance from our sales ledger control account and the sales ledger and the purchase ledger control account and the purchase ledger. So we will always be reducing the balance with the $980. And so therefore, because it hasn't been updated in our payables ledger, we need to reduce our balance per the payables list. The next error tells us that the total of the purchase returns day book was undercast by $1,000. The individual credit notes in the purchase returns day book would have been updated in the payables ledger. However, the totals would have been updated in the general ledger. And so therefore this undercast relates to our purchase ledger control account and therefore does not affect our list. Our third error states that an invoice for 4344 was posted to the supplier's account as 4434. So here we have a transpositional error. The difference between these two amounts is $90 and we can see what was posted to the supplier's account was bigger than what should have been posted as per the invoice value. And so therefore we're going to need to reduce our payables list for this invoice error. With our adjustments now identified and updated on the list, we can now total this up and calculate our revised payables list balance. This amounts to 437,830. Based on the assumption that all of the errors have been found and updated, our balance per our purchase ledger will equal our balance per the purchase ledger control account in the general ledger. This is the balance that is included in the statement of financial position. And so therefore our revised payables ledger balance of 437,830 must equal our purchase ledger control account balance. And so therefore looking at the options available to us, our correct answer is the first option.